We've been on the journey to transform our 1950s all pink bathroom into a brighter and more functional space. And oh my, it's been a labor of love. We've gone through demo day, installing the new tile, and now we are so close to the finish line. In today's video, we will add those pieces to really make this bathroom shine. If you'd like to see this process, then just keep on watching. channel it's your girl Kayla here and I want to thank you so much for clicking on today's video as you can see from that title you guys the bathroom is about to be completed it's about to be done it's about to be a wrap but before we get to that stage we have to finish all of these things like sanding down the door painting it putting up the light adding the tub adding the toilet just really making it functional making it all come together so if you want to see that process please be sure to stick around to the end of the video and then comment down below what you think before we get into it though i do want to thank the sponsor of today's video david's bridal if you guys didn't know marcus and i we are getting married in just a few months now time is moving by so quick and we're actually having a backyard wedding here at the house which is why we're trying to get this bathroom fixed up because it's going to serve as one of the many restroom options for our guests and we're at that stage in our process now where we are trying to send out save the days get people knowing you know when our wedding is going to happen get people excited and on their calendar calendar. And so David's Bridal, they have come out with a new collection of wedding invitations, save the dates at the wedding shop at Shutterfly. So we recently just ordered our save the dates and we have, you know, sent out a few. We still have a couple more to send out, but this is the one that we picked. Y'all, when I tell you there are so many options on Shutterfly. Like we had so many that we were choosing between and we didn't know what we were gonna pick because they're literally all so great. No matter like what your color palette is or what your aesthetic you're going for for your wedding, they literally have something for everybody. For Marcus and I, we're doing more of like a whimsical, enchanting type of theme and our colors are blush, cream, champagne. So we are very happy with this invitation. I'm sorry, the, this save the date. <laughs> I keep calling these invitations. And what I also really love is that we were able to create these invites, cozied up on the couch. Like it was a really fun process for us and they were delivered straight here to our door. So it was super convenient, super easy, and one less thing that we have to do on our whole wedding checklist. So again, thank you Davis Bridal for sponsoring today's video. And I really would like for you guys to check out the wedding shop at Shutterfly to see all the beautiful styles that Davis Bridal has for their invitations and safe dates. They are just absolutely stunning. Enough about that for now. <laughs> and let's go ahead and begin working on this bathroom, y'all. So come on, let's go. So you guys, I was a little low, slow to catch up with them, but you got a lot of progress in here. You got the toilet, the toilet, connected with new stuff. You feel me? And we also have the tub. Wow, it fit right up in there too. They just left, I guess. It's always something. They went and got something else. I'm just glad they trying to do the job right. Cause I don't know what I would do if it wasn't for them. So no drain yet, but they're gonna drill a hole in the uh, tile so we can drain from the tub um, and probably pick it back off the drain that's already there. Water already is flowing through here. Um, Cause it seems to be in almost the exact same spot as before. And then hopefully attach the handles and stuff and the shower head that'll come up and that'll be almost it except for the thing for the shower uh, curtain. But yeah, y'all, it's sitting right up in there. It's a nice, neat little fit.
right, y'all, so we got a new package. Marcus already opened it up. But he didn't take a good look. So this is the light fixture that I ordered off Amazon. If you guys remember, I asked y'all on Instagram which one I should get, or just, I think I just showed y'all what I was looking at. So it finally came in. And I'm hoping it's a cutie. I think it's the perfect color, so I think it's gonna work. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get handprints all over it. So pretty. So of course this is not it. It has some little glass globes to go right here. Okay, so this is one of the globes. Oh, it has a scratch on it. You guys can still get the picture. So this light picture can be like this on the wall, and then you have the globe like that, or it can be, <laughs> or it can be like this, which is the way we're planning to have it. And then this will be like that. I guess you gotta unscrew this, but hopefully y'all can see that vision now. Yeah, y'all. I'll leave the link down below. I need to go and grab some paint. Marcus is getting things for the shelves. I literally cut my finger on one of these clamps. I had to get a band-aid up out of here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the rest of the things we need and then we will head back home. Oh, we also gotta get the mirror. The mirror gotta go up. That's like one of the main parts. So here we go. Hey y'all, so we got everything we need. Hey y'all, so now we are in Lowe's and we're coming here to pick up a mirror. We're trying to get this one right here. It is 36 or 48. Now I'm looking, this has the beveled edge and I don't know if I really wanted that. Do you like the look of that? You don't like that? The other one we were gonna get, um, it's like what? A dollar more expensive and it just, it didn't have any like edges or whatever, like beveled edges, so. I don't know what we're gonna do now. We ended up going to a second Lowe's location and we found the mirror. It is 48 by, oh my gosh, Marcus. It's definitely cracked. Mm -hmm. It's definitely cracked. We cannot get that one. We have to tell somebody. We have to tell somebody that that one messed up. Okay, y'all. So in my last video, everybody said that they loved the like acrylic candles. So I went ahead right quick and I popped it on, I need to sand whatever this is away. Um, I really, really like it, you guys. I really like that one a whole lot more. So I think that's the one that I'm gonna do. So I just need to spray paint the rest of them and then put those on. But I think that looks really cute too. It looks way, to me, it looks better than this one. And be responsible. Marcus is out here starting on the shelves that are going in the closet. I showed you guys earlier, we got all our materials. On the sides. On the sides, and then we will just slide the shelf in. Are you doing anything that comes out? No, you don't need that. We don't need it. 
It looks fantastic. I feel like the spacing is so great. These are gonna look so good. Great job, babe. going on underneath here so I came in here earlier because I was going to condition the wood so when I came in here I noticed that like the bottom was wet a little bit and I'll pop up pictures so I'm like oh no I touched my finger to the wood soaked my hands were like soaked so we slid a piece of paper up under there slid it back out drenched so there's definitely some sort of leak going on I contacted my Contractor, he's coming over in a little bit to come see what is going on. So let me show y'all the light because you guys did not see that. This is the light fixture that we picked. Super duper cute. The mirror is gonna go right, that's the length of the mirror, but we're gonna have it up here. So you guys can see that. That is the light we chose. I will link it on Amazon. And also, if you follow me on Instagram, I asked for y'all opinion on these grommets. I'm sorry, they're not grommets, on the pivots. So a lot of you guys, the majority of y'all said round. So I think that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. They look really yellow in this light. I promise you they're not that like that in person. This is what they look like. The lights in here are warm. So I just bought a new, um, I bought some new bulbs, so let's put these in right now. These are soft light because I don't want the bathroom to have warm lights. So it's just the only bulbs that we had. So let's go ahead and put these babies in. I still wanted them to be like the Edison bulbs, so. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took from me. Okay, here we go. Woo. Oh yeah, that is so nice and bright. I love that, I love it. That looks so much better. Okay. So we are outside right now and I have the door right over here. So in my last video, I was asking y'all what color we should paint it. And a lot of y'all were saying the same color, which I did get. But also before I do that, I kind of want to test out um, what it would look like if it was just a really pretty natural color, like how it is on the vanity and the shelves we're doing. I'm going to sand this down and see if we can lighten it up. Okay y'all, so update, I feel like this is looking really awesome. I do not know quite yet if it's the same as that color that we have on the vanity, but it looks pretty, pretty close. Um, so I think, I think, I think we should keep going.
Okay guys, so now that we got like the framing for the shelves up within the bathroom closet, Marcus was going ahead and cutting the wood that our pieces would actually sit on. We got all of these products as you guys saw from Home Depot and it worked out perfectly because basically he needed to just cut the boards in half and then there was a little, maybe like 10 inches or so extra that he needed to cut as well. I really love how these turned out. They give like a really minimal, effortless look. And I would say, even though I didn't personally do it, Marcus would agree with me that this was somewhat of an easy project to create these floating shelves. We used a guide or like a tutorial that we found online. So I'll be sure to share that down below because it has way more detailed instructions than what I'm about to tell you right now. But basically y'all, these shelves are made out of two different types of wood. One is thin and one is thick. The thicker part is actually what our items will sit on. And then the thinner part is kind of what will make the shelves have like that certain thickness that we're desiring. Cause we didn't want to just put that wood like up there like this and leave it. We wanted it to have like a certain thickness. So the underlayment piece allowed us to do that. Marcus is securing the plywood in with wood glue and also with nails just to make sure everything is, you know, secured properly. But as you can see right there, the two pieces are joined together, the top and bottom, but there is a gap. So later on, we are going to fill in that gap so it looks very seamless and you don't see any openings in there. Only you can make my world go black. Marcus is also using clamps just to make sure that nothing expands and everything is just like a really close and tight fit. Those little tiny nails right there were actually some that our contractor let us use. They are so awesome. They like don't create almost any hole. They're pretty much invisible. So we got to invest in one of those in the future because our nail gun leaves a bigger dent. But now Marcus is putting up our little toilet paper holder and then right after this we are going to bring in the door. So the door is in and what are y'all's thoughts? Also, we are about to put up like a little towel ring. I think that's cute, maybe like right there. Yeah, that works perfectly. The leak has been fixed. So this is what it looks like now down here. That's all been fixed up, thank goodness. We didn't have to like replace anything super duper major, but we did have to place the existing pipe that was coming out of the wall. So that's what that looks like now. You guys saw that Marcus put up the little toilet tissue paper holder. So this can now go on here. And that looks really cute. Ooh, love that. And The shelves are now done, so those just need to be stained by me. And finally, the mirror needs to go up. So, let's get to it. All right, y'all, so now that that's up, the little towel rack, it looks so cute, and the handles are all completed. I just gotta pop those on. Um, we are trying to put on our new little knob for the toilet. This is the one that it comes with. Um, and I guess you could really just spray paint these, y'all, but I went ahead and got this one off of Amazon. I think it was like $14. But if you buy it new, it's like $21 or $22. So this is going to be like right over here. Oh, so cute. Oh, wait, wrong way. I think it might be like this. 
so cute. Love that. So now I'm testing out stain. So this is summer oak right here. It looks really yellow on camera. And then up here we have natural, which basically looks like nothing. We've used natural like all throughout the house. Um, we did not stain the door. It is, you know, the way it is. It's also showing up a lot darker on camera. Again. So next, Marcus and I began working on the mirror that we got from Lowe's. As y'all saw, we chose the round pivot, so now it was time to put those up onto the wall so we could be almost done with this project. The handles were just the last thing that needed to go on at this point, and the mirror. So the pivots came with like these metal like brackets, I almost want to say, that you're supposed to use to protect the mirror. And also, this is what the pivots will kind of like be placed against, I guess, so you don't put too much pressure on the mirror and make it crack. So we were not able to slide the pivots over these brackets and the mirror combined. It was just way too thick. It was very impossible. So you'll see later on that Marcus comes up with a solution for that. So we weren't quite able to finish this right now. And I was a little bummed out because I was thinking, oh man, we're probably not going to get to do any pivots, but you'll see how Marcus saves the day in the end. Okay guys, so I asked y'all on my Instagram and y'all was like, girl, go ahead and paint the door. So I also agree that that is like the best thing to do. So I'm using this paint, which is actually the same color as the wall. It's exclusive ivory. But first, my contractor recommended that I prime it just because it had that stain on there. We don't want that peeking through. So I'm probably gonna do one to two coats of this depending on how well it applies. So let's go ahead and start painting the door. So the first coat is done on the door and now I'm about to begin staining these shelves over here. So I think I showed you guys what color I picked, which is summer oak. Usually I do the natural color, but I feel like this one matches a lot better with the vanity. So I'm going to use my paintbrush and begin working. Okay guys, so after two coats of the primer, this is what the door is looking like. And now I feel like it is ready for paint because it's just way more opaque. Again, I'm using the same color that I use within, like on the walls and stuff, and it is called Exclusive Ivory. So let's go ahead and make it. Come around, I'm still walking, I'm still proud. I never lost. 
lost it. I never lost it. All right, y'all, so this is where Marcus comes in to save the day. So remember I said that we were not able to get the pivots on. It was just way too thick and it wasn't going over over both the bracket and the mirror. So Marcus had the idea to get like some WD-40, like a greaser of some sort to kind of get it to slide on a little bit better. That wasn't working, so he popped out the sander and like kind of sanded away those harsh edges on the brackets and then added a little bit more degreaser, used a mallet, popped it on in there, and it finally works. All right, y'all, so here is the mirror. It is up in its full glory. I think it looks super duper cute. Um, now that it's up and I'm looking at everything, I do want to move this light fixture over to the center, but that might be a project for another day because there actually is like a big, I don't know if y'all remember that big black pipe that was running down right here. So I don't know how far over we'll be able to move it, but I was not thinking that I would want this centered over the mirror. I was like, oh yeah, center it over the sink. And it is centered over the sink, but I feel like it needs to be centered over the mirror now. So that is one thing. That'll have to get done at a later date, but let's keep on moving on. I guess we're gonna put up the door now and then I have to switch out all the handles and stuff. You guys saw me stain all the shelves and then we're gonna get to decorating. So these are the little cookies and hopefully they're actually like strong enough. So we're about to put these up on the wall. I'm gonna start off by just peeling this off and then putting up the first one. All right, y'all, so now that everything was pretty much in and pretty much done, it is almost time for you guys to see the final reveal. But of course, before we do, I gotta take y'all all the way to the beginning. Back to when I first bought this house and I did my initial empty house tour. This is what the bathroom looked like. It was all pink, I mean, and I had the vision from then. I was like, I'm gonna put a closet tub here. If you go back and watch this video, I actually said that. And then more so recently, when we began this makeover, I talked about what I wanted to do again. So nothing had changed a year later after I bought this house. It was still pink. And finally, it's getting the makeover it deserves. <laughs>
Wow, y'all, I am still shook. Oh my goodness, it looks so fantastic. The bathroom has become my favorite room in the entire house now. <laughs> I kid you not. But now it is time to decorate. At first, I was gonna make this a separate video, but I was like, nah, they've been waiting long enough. Let me tie this all together into one and make a super long video just all about the bathroom. So beginning with decorating, and I decided to start with the shelves because I was super excited to decorate this area. Um, those little jars and the turntable I use, those are all from Lowe's, including this little hanging plant. I thought that was super duper cute. I definitely wanted to add, add greenery on the shelves and then also add like all the products and things that I'd be using most often in here, you know. These jars down here are from Walmart. They were like $9 a piece, I believe, and they're like the one gallon jars. And the smaller one right in front, I think it was around six to eight dollars and that one's gonna hold our bath bomb so what i'm trying to do right now is just get like the placement of everything and then we'll fill it up later on so i put some towels up here because i always like the look of having the fresh towels just folded and on a shelf it looks so cute to me and then i wanted to put a tray with washcloths next to it so i started playing around with that idea you'll see that it just didn't quite work out I started to like roll the towels up you know get that spa like look but it just did not look cute to me you guys let me know down in the comments if you like this certain look I was really trying to make it work and it just was not working so I went back to the whole simplistic look <laughs> too much of emotion Next, I'm using this super cute bath tray that I got from Target. It's not actually sold in store, so I'll have the link for it if you want to buy it online. I saw another one that was sold at West Elm for like three times the price. It was like $80 or $90. And then this one was only $20, y'all. So such a steal, such a steal. And the color matched so perfectly. They also have it in silver, black. I really like the look of this one. I contemplated like getting a wooden little bath caddy, but I think that one works out so perfectly. I like the negative space in it. Next, I'm adding a towel. This one is so gorgeous. It's from H&M Home. I love the tassels it has on there. Of course, y'all, I'm gonna have everything linked down below. And I just wanted to add like a lot of like neutral textiles up in here just to let the room kind of still speak for itself. Nothing too crazy, not a lot of patterns, but I really like the textured look of like a lot of the things that I'm using with the tassels. So this rug is from World Market. I believe it's $34.99 and as gorgeous as it is, y'all saw it was just way too big. So luckily I got two because I was planning to put the smaller one in front of the sink and then the big one in front of the tub. But I think that would have ended up being too much anyway. So the smaller one fit perfectly here and I'm adding a little basket that I got from Hobby Lobby underneath the like last shelf. This little stool I thought was super duper cute and it matched the tone of the vanity like so perfectly it's also from target from the like hearth and home collection and you guys will see me style that in just a second a couple more pieces from target the brass like little toilet scrubber and trash can uh, adorable and I believe they were both under $20 so I thought that was such a steal compared to other things that I'd seen online I was trying to like shop around a lot to get the best bargain this towel um, is from H&M as well it was $9.99 I believe or $14.99 and I decided to splurge on that one because the tassels just really like make it so cute. And then I'm adding a little vase over here from Hobby Lobby. And instead of putting the dish towels, I'm sorry, the washcloths on that little basket, I decided to put the vase on there and it created a little moment that I was really, really happy about. So next y'all, I began making some floral arrangements. I was gonna buy like the faux plants that you can get, the stems from Hobby Lobby or other craft stores. And I really was trying to do like olive branches. But 
it was very very expensive so i was like you know what i'm gonna go to my local supermarket in this case i went to kroger and i found some beautiful like fresh florals that i was really excited about and i think that when these dry out they're gonna look even more stunning because i'm a big fan of like dried florals as well i do not remember the name of these y'all i'm so sorry but they're gorgeous they're so gorgeous with, like little white buds at the top stunning and they were only like four dollars and fifty cents so i'm gonna start doing this a lot more and perhaps when these get a two you know a too funny looking i will go and just grab some more from kroger because i was a lot of fun making these and now i'm making a smaller one to go over on the stool I was telling Marcus, it's something about that little one that I made. I was just screaming wedding vibes. I don't know, but I love it. I'm using a little jar that I got from World Market. It has bath brews in there filled with chamomile. I used it recently and it is so amazing. They're actually on sale right now for $4.99. So if you like to put a lot of stuff in your bath water, I'm going to have that link down below for you. Again, I'm trying to make these wash towels. Like I'm trying to make them work, but they're still not working. Marcus came in and he was like, nope, that's not it right there. I said, you're right. Let's just leave it simple here. That way, if people have things, they have space to put them and the wash towels aren't in the way or even just like getting dirty. So that's what we ended up doing. And now I'm making labels to go on all the jars that I got. I was going to buy some off Amazon, but I was like, you know what? I can just make these. So I'm on a website called PicMonkey, which is where I make all of my graphics. You can use literally whatever colors you want, whatever sizes. The options are endless. So I did two and a half inches by three and a half inches to create a little label and my favorite font to get like that really nice look is lulo clean one it's perfect it matches a lot of the fonts that you would see like on the amazon labels anyway and so once i resized it to make it two inches i went ahead and cut these out i added like a little number up top and then for some of them i added like whatever the scent was at the bottom and they turned out so so cute and you guys will see that i used some like adhesive paper to stick them onto all of the jars and the adhesive paper it is um, removable so that's really great too like i'm not married to any of these labels at all i can switch them up and change them out as things happen and as life goes on spending the days on my own then repeats this for weeks to come i don't care what i miss because my life is dismissed i keep searching for my Don't those just look so fantastic? Ugh, I am obsessed and I love how neutral everything looks. I kind of did that on purpose, like, <laughs> but no, seriously, all those things will be functional for me within this space using the Epsom slot and the bath bombs. Um, it's just gonna be wonderful. So now I'm working on the other jars. These are gonna hold my cotton rounds and cotton balls and Q-tips, which are just all things that I use 
pretty much every other day and then just things that my guests might need as well i'm gonna put more stuff later on within the vanity like actual toothpaste and hand soap and other things like that we'll have to organize underneath there with the cleaning products and stuff too so once all of that was done i placed them on the little turntable and then i'm gonna put my hand soap container over by the sink i didn't have any hand soap at this time so you'll see that it's just gonna be empty for right now but don't worry hand soap is coming very soon and then also we are going to put toilet tissue in the basket and y'all, once all that is done, I will be ready to show you guys the final reveal of this bathroom. You've seen it without the decor, just, you know, the way it looks and its glory without anything. And now you will see it all jazzed up. And I honestly love it both ways. So get ready for the final reveal. I hope that y'all really like how the bathroom turned out. I am obsessed. This is one little glove I put here. But still have things to do. I think I want to put some sort of basket behind here or let me know down in the comments if I should just leave it like this so people can put up their things or whatnot. Um, over here, y'all, I think I might have mentioned this already, but I did not remember the toilet being this close to the vanity, so if I could have changed anything, I definitely would have had like the plumbing moved over a bit, but you know, it's totally too late for that now. So I just placed a little trash can there. I think that looks super duper cute. And we need to find some artwork to kind of go right over the toilet here. Maybe even two pieces, one here, one there. So, Y'all know how I am with the artwork. That's always like super difficult, but I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for something. Over here, I really like how minimal it is. Like you can still have a lot of room to put things here on this side and a little room on that side. Um, at first I wasn't going to, well, you guys saw that already. So yeah, but yeah, I like how that turned out. My other handle is still drying. We spray painted the doorknob brass. And this little nook is just my absolute favorite. I do not know what to put up top. So if you have suggestions, let me know. Uh, but I definitely want these shelves to be, you know, functional. One thing I wanna get are some little glass pump jars so I can put my bubble bath in. So maybe the bubble bath can go up top. Let me see if I can reach up here. Oh, okay, that will be a stretch. So no, bubble bath cannot go up there. I guess I'll have to make room for it like on this shelf for that one. So what can I put up here, y'all? I was thinking maybe just some plants. Could be cute. Mm, don't really know. And then over here on the stool, I kind of, I like it like this, just real simple because I've already take, taken a bath in here, you guys. I've taken like four or five already. Um, as soon as it was put in, I took a bath, okay? So 
when I used the stool, I kind of put like my new clothes that I was gonna wear there. At the time, I put my towel here too because the hooks weren't up yet. So I think this is just a good space for people to put their stuff. Um, this little bath caddy is awesome. <laughs> my phone fits perfectly like right here in this space and I guess a tablet or book would too. And so it was really nice to watch my show. And then um, I had my like shower gel on this side and I have a washcloth over here too. The candle I just placed there. And um, you guys, this is Marcus's sister-in-law. Her name is Kimberly. She makes like really awesome soaps. So the name of her business is called Yimmy's Armor. Like her soap, it's amazing. Every time Marcus gets a new one, I steal it and use it for myself. So we have her little soap right there. And I think that looks cute. I don't want to put too much here because when I actually take my bath, it's probably when I'll bring a lot of my stuff in here from our master bathroom. But y'all let me know if you think I should add something here. If I did, I'm thinking it would be a plant. Like a very, very small one. And then I was also thinking about hanging eucalyptus down from here, but for now I decided to keep it really, really minimal because I just want this area to speak for itself and it really, really does. You guys know that we bought a circle hoop to go here for the shower curtain, but I am not ready to put it up yet because I just love the way this area looks without it. So let me show y'all the shower curtain that I got. Y'all have already seen like the loop-de-loop. And the reason I'm not really pressed to put it up, besides like wanting the tile to really shine, is because I don't really plan to take showers in here. But if we have guests, that's when it'll probably be really important for us to put the loop-de-loop -loop up. But for now and for us, this is totally fine. But let me show you guys the shower curtain. Okay, y'all, so here is the shower curtain. I got this from H&M. All the textiles are from H&M or World Market. So I think it is stunning. It's so pretty. Oh wait, y'all can y'all see? Let me see if I can give y'all a better view. This is what it looks like, guys. Can y'all see that? It's like a lot of florals on here. So I think it looks super duper pretty the print like all the flowers and stuff are gorgeous and I feel like it does match with the tone of the room so that will be the shower curtain in here and if I don't use this one because it might be a little too busy then I'll definitely just get like a plain white one maybe with like that waffle text texture I really like that one too they had that one on each and as well and I was super close to buying it. It also was like more of a cotton feel. This is polyester. I'm super happy it's not the plastic though, but it is polyester. So it doesn't quite move the way I want it to. So y'all, we are done with the bathroom. This is the finale episode. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. We have so many more projects to tackle. Um, so you guys stay tuned. We got the backyard, finished the laundry room. We got the office, guest bedroom, patio. And we have to refresh the um, exterior. I have to replant some flowers out there, Z weed, y'all. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. For my returning subbies, thank you guys so much for rocking with me, coming back every week for a video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.